Profitable agricultural sectors you can invest on if you are living abroad. If you are a Nigerian living abroad, this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to be telling you on profitable agricultural activities you can invest on and earn a lot of money. Profitable agricultural sectors you can invest on if you are living abroad. If you are a Nigerian living abroad, this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to be telling you on profitable agricultural activities you can invest on and earn a lot of money. Agriculture is quite a very profitable venture that you can invest in and earn your money. Nigeria, looking at the way Nigeria is going, there is rate, the dollar rate is getting high. People, no matter what, people will definitely eat. The demand of food is increasing in a daily basis. Meaning, if you are a farmer, you will not lack anything. Even though fuel comes to 1,000 naira, we farmers, we, it will not affect us so much because we are the ones that are providing food that people are eating. So agriculture is a sector that can never go updated. That is nothing like the sector has gone updated. No. Demand of food will keep on increasing because there is the population is increasing in a daily basis. And Nigeria, we are blessed so much by God. We are blessed by God with a lot of natural resources. Agriculture is a sector that will make a poor man to become a millionaire if you know how to modernize your way of farming. Gone are those days that we just carry O and cut last and go to the farm. No, agriculture is more than this. We have modernized technologies. That is why you abroad, you need to invest in agriculture in Nigeria. There are different agricultural sectors you can invest in over there and be making millions here in Nigeria. D demand of food items is quite very high. So this video, I'm going to be explaining everything you need to know the sectors that you invest on and you will gain back your capitals, your capital and you will be happy. Number one sector that you need to invest on, you need to look into that the market is very high now and people don't know much about it, is palm weevil farming. What is palm weevil farming? Palm weevil farming is an act of breeding of palm weevil, scientifically called Rhicophoria finicis. This sector is a, is a newborn baby sector. I would say a newborn baby sector because people don't know much about this sector. So if you invest in this sector, you are going to get your, your money, your capital back and you are going to get a lot of profits. How can you invest in this sector? How you can invest in this sector is by getting the knowledge. After you get the knowledge, you get a, a space, a room alone. Just a room alone can give you up to millions of naira if you invest in this palm weevil lava farming because a box alone can give you up to 400 to 300 lava and each box each box can give you up to 300 to 400 lava and a lava here in nigeria is sold at the rate of 100 naira to from one of 50 naira to 100 naira meaning if you have lots of boxes you are going to make a lot of money Another sector is snail farming. Snail farming is one of the my one of my best sectors because snail farming demands little capital to invest in. Then it, the the profit you are another sector you need to look into is uh, snail farming. Snail farming is one of my best sectors because snail farming does not require much money like that. And in terms of feeding the snails are quite very easy, unlike other livestock like poultry, fishery, and, and others. In snail farming, feeding your snails are quite very easy. Let's say, for example, now, feeding your snails from my own experiment, from my own uh, uh, thing that I've known, feeding your snails, you can decide to feed them with vegetables because snails are basically vegetarians. 
So you are going to know, you not spend much money in their feed. One thing that really consumes money in farming is your feeding. The feeding, the what you give to your livestock, that's what consumes money very much. But for snake farming, it does not consume money like that at all when it comes to the feeding. You can be giving snails them vegetables because they are vegetarians, vegetables. In the sense that papa, watermelon, cucumber, all those papa that, all those are bulky in Nigeria. Because I've, I went to a farm, to set up a farm in Agbo. So when I reached that place, we, were, we went to the market to source for food. And I saw that we went to where Aboki they were doing, uh, they, are, they were selling uh, all those pop, uh, watermelon them. And there was plenty of watermelon that I've gotten, that I've, got, that I've spoiled. That they wanted to throw away. So we packed plenty. We packed all of them and took to the farm. And they were even begging us to take more. So meaning what, I, what I'm really saying in this essence is that you will not spend much money. What you will do is to build their pens, then build a greenhouse. Build a natural habitat for them. Once you build a natural habitat for them, like somewhere like this, it can, this can be a snake farm. This kind of place can be a snake greenhouse. You can see, you grow crops like this, put your snails, and the snails will be inside this place eating. You will not spend much money feeding them. And the demand of snails is very high globally. Nigeria, snails is quite very expensive. And snails multiply very well. One snail alone can lay up to 50, 50 eggs. The Achatina, Achatina, well, Fully can lay up to 50 now. eggs. Why the Achatina marginata? Sorry, I'm, that is the species of snail I'm calling. The Achatina marginata lays up to that kind, sometimes 7 to 10 egg one. So they multiply very fast and it requires less stress. You can just be a snail farmer, get a greenhouse, get a greenhouse, put enough food and you go your way. There's no stress you that much. So that is another sector that you, you need to look into. Another sector you need to look into is granite farming, granite production. Currently in Nigeria, because it's granite that is used to produce granite oil, almost everything that we do, party, party in your house, you use granite oil in the daily basics. So the consumption of granite oil is very high currently in Nigeria. So how Will you come into this sector if you are living abroad? What you will do is to get acres of land. Let's say you get about one acre of land because granite need a large space. You get one acre of land, or if you can get one acre of land, get like an um, three plots of land. You plant granite, plant enough granite them inside the land. Plant enough granite. Then after you plant this granite. Granite stays up to three to four months. They are ready for harvesting. Once you harvest this granite, what you are going to do is to mill this granite to granite oil, peanut oil. A small sachet of peanut oil in Nigeria is sold at the rate of 150 naira. Very small, and that small sachet will never reach you to fry anything. Sir. You can't use one small sachet to fry anything. So if you produce this, Granite in large quantity, you get a good machine, a mill. You get a good mill, mill this granite into granite oil, and you sell. You sell, you make millions of when you invest in that, that, that sector. You make millions. So there are certain many things you can do in Nigeria. Stop wasting your money. There are many things you can invest in. There are many agricultural activities you can invest in. So invest in this granite. Invest in it. If you don't have knowledge of it, contact us. We will teach you. So that is another sector you need to look into. Another sector you can invest in is uh, plantain farming. Plantain plantation is one, one of the good sectors that you can invest in and earn a lot of money. If you look behind me, you see plantains. You can see plantains. See banana. If you zoom the banana, let us see the banana. Can you see banana? Plantain and banana farming. It's another good sector that will earn you lots of money if you are living abroad. Plantain and banana farming. The only thing you need in plantain farming is uh, you get the suckers. Let me show you. 
you get the suckers. These are the suckers. You buy suckers. We can sell suckers for you. If you need suckers. You buy suckers and you buy the land. You buy your land. Then after you buy your land, you clear the ground. You clear this, this, this place that you want to use for the farming. Then you get these suckers and you plant them. After you plant them, the only thing that you need to do again is to weed. Let's say if you weed like an, um, four, to, four to five times, you harvest. And pl plantain within a year, you can harvest. And the cost of plantain here is very high in Nigeria now. Ha. Plantain is odd cake. <laughs> it's only rich people that are eating plantain now. Got small plantain you will see. But I went to go and buy plantain in the market. I just because I was not up, I went I traveled, so I was plantain was uh, hungry me to eat. So I went to go and buy plantain from the market. Where I went to, over there in Delta State, did you do you know how much they sold plantain for me? Five seed of plantain, they sold it for me at the rate of one thousand four hundred. I was like, ha, huh? one thousand four for five seeds. Of plantain, <laughs> it was really amazed. I, I was just looking at the woman. The woman said so she's even helping me. That she's because I'm a new person. She wants to make me customer. I was like, ah. So this uh, plantain is expensive. So you can invest in plantain farming and earn a lot of money from it. And you can earn a lot of money from from owning a plantain farm. All these things I'm, I've mentioned is that these are things that you can do that will not even stress you that much. Like plantain now, once you plant them like this, you plant them, they don't need you to be watering them. See, Nigeria, the soil is blessed. You see, this is our soil. God has really blessed Nigeria. See, this is our soil. This soil, Nigeria, the land of Nigeria, is blessed. You don't need anything. You don't even need to put fertilizer in most places. Places like Bayasa. I'm shooting this video from Bayesa. You don't need fertilizer to put them. And you see how fresh the, the plantains are. They will grow. They will grow and they will bring fruit for you. You will sell and make your money. So these are, these are some of the things that you can invest on. Even banana. Banana is very costly here in Nigeria. You can also put banana in that farm. A bunch of banana currently now is sold. Some people sell it at the rate of 5,000 naira. 5,000 naira. Just calculate that you, you have at least... You have up to 100 to 200 bunches of banana. You make, you make millions of naira. You make good money. So invest in agriculture. Agriculture is not for the poor only. It's for the rich and the poor. If you have much money, invest large. And you'll make a lot of profit from it. I believe you have learned a lot from this video. Please help me by sharing this video to other people living abroad if you come in contact with this video share this video do it to subscribe to my youtube channel i teach on different agricultural activities that will really help to boost your financial capacity i remain my humble self taboe brief ibi moboe do it to subscribe to my youtube channel like this video if you see this video on facebook follow us thank you very much god bless you till i come your way again god bless you bye bye